Welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights 2, Icewind Dale. This is Big Los, and we're in the Coldahar Inn. We were going to talk to this halfling named Aldwin. He inherited this place after the previous owner disappeared. Was it killed, or was it kidnapped? We don't know. But let's find out. Stay close, and step where I step. Let's have Frito talk to him. Well met. Oh, it's you again. What do you want this time? So it says that the other party members have other things to say, but they don't. You, Aldwin? Yeah, maybe. Do I know you? Amelia, the barmaid at the root cellar, mentioned you. She said you bought this in from a man named Eden. Before he vanished, that is. Amelia, that dried up serving wench with the voice like a harpy? Yeah, I know her. She's right. I did buy this place from Eden. I've been in to see why the old Dodger wanted to sell this in and vanish right quick. Let's see, we'll have her say it. Why? Well, he stuck me with this hole and not much business to be had. Winter's choked off all the passes. So that means no caravans and no business. I hope old Eden got buried in a snowdrift, or used a chew, or used as a chew bone by an ogre. Oof. Anyway, the claim's mine, so I gotta make do. Eden wrote the claim to you. Yeah, written in pen and ink, legally binding. Every I dotted, every T crossed for any fool to see. So, well, Eden had palsy. But you knew that, right? So if this claim was written to you, of course, assuming that Eden knew how to write, which he didn't, then the script would hardly be as perfectly written as you say. Yeah, well, old Eden must have had someone write it for him then, because everything looks in order to me. It's not unheard of to have others write claims for you. All I know is the claim's mine. Now, do you want a room or not? If not, then get out. Looks like we don't have the opportunity to decline this. Let me try pressing escape. Yep, that got us out of it. Well, looks like we weren't able to trap him in a lie. What? So, I believe more investigation is in order. Now, we can go to the back of the inn here. So, let's open the door and go. Looks like it brings us to another area. Let's check the map. All we see is a hallway. Alright, let's go on up. So we got a door here, got a door here, and a third door, it looks like. Perhaps so. Alright, well, you're the rogue. Why don't you go in and check things out? Ah, oh, we got an armoire here. Aha, uh -huh, so we have a silver necklace, a wooden plank, and an alchemical silver ingot. Good for crafting, but I haven't been putting crafting into anybody's skills. Alright, I guess we'll check the other two rooms here. Let's check this one. There's nothing to highlight in here. Okay. On to the next one. Okay, so we have a desk here in the back. Let's search it. Okay, so we got a wooden plank and this thing, Eden's Legacy Ring. Let's take a look at it. This simple silver ring bears an inscription on the interior. It looks like the inscription was carved there by an expert silversmith. To the people of Kolohar, should evening fall upon me, and my life be no more, I leave the evening shade to you. Please care for her as I did. Eden, last of the line of Kavon. So is he leaving it to the bearer of the ring, or is he leaving it to all the people of Kolohar to be a communal inn? I'm curious. So we'll take it. And now, I guess I'm the owner of the inn. Or at least Frito is, he's wearing the ring. 
Nothing on that shelf. Looks like no doors on this side of the hallway. All right, very well. Let's go back downstairs and have a talk with Aldwin. Maybe he can explain this. Perhaps he'll claim it's a forgery. Wouldn't put it past him. Well met. Oh, it's you again. What do you want this time? I found a ring in one of the upper rooms you might be interested in. Eh? What? This ring has an inscription on the inside that looks like the real claim to this inn. Why would you be the owner when this claim says different? Oh, so now you've stooped to forcing your way into locked containers in people's houses, have you? Before you accuse me of doing anything wrong, maybe you should look to yourself. What are you doing breaking and entering? Oh, so you know it was locked upstairs. Actually, it wasn't locked. It was wide open. Uh, no, no, I didn't know it was locked upstairs. Look, I don't have to explain anything. You're right. I will take Eden's ring to the elders of this town and let them decide how to deal with this. Perhaps they could call on Eden Shade with the ring and speak to him about this. Justice must be served. Look, hold on, hold on. Here's what happened. First off, I never laid a hand on Eden. So Eden is dead. Well, yeah, but it's not my fault. I come into the inn one night after barely making my way through Kolahar Pass, see? And there he is, lying on the floor of the inn, cold as a stone. Now, I've been through the pass before, even talked with the old fool a bit, and I knew he didn't have any family. What did you do with the body? There have been rumors of people missing, so I buried the body outside of town, and then, well... I dug out some pen and ink and set up the claim. Granted, I stripped him of his belongings. Should have thrown away that damn ring. But look, I'm not doing any harm. He didn't have any family, and this town needs an inn. So why did you do it? You probably won't be able to sell this place, you know. The storm season closes off the caravan routes too often to turn any profit. I know, it's just that... I don't know. I'm sick of traveling. And suddenly, and I suddenly got the urge to settle. Blame the little halfling in me, I suppose. At least I didn't try to plant myself in some glorified Marlboro and smoke a stinkweed pipe until I die of boredom. Well, it's good you didn't hurt Eden. Well, oh, we got multiple things to say here. All right, we'll have our leader to say this. While it's good you didn't hurt Eden, you shouldn't have hid the body and falsified the claim. There were people here that probably knew him and cared for him. They would have liked to have paid their respects. Besides, as Eden's ring states, the inn belongs to Kolahar, not you. What you did was wrong. That's a very lawful answer, and you're a very lawful character. Yeah, well, before you start getting any more preachy on me, it seems that you need to stop your habit of breaking and entering. That stinks of a thief. By my reckoning, that puts us about that puts us at about the same level. Fair enough. Nonetheless, I want you to speak to the town elders and let them know what you've done. If you don't, I will speak to them, and it will be worse for you in the long run. I hmm, look, maybe we. I mean, what's to keep me from getting out of town? Well, you won't get far, and Avalanche has sealed off the pass, and plus, there are raiders scouring the mountains. Just confess to the elders. I'll have you say that. All right, all right, damn it. I'll go talk to them. Now stop bothering me. And we got 604 XP for that. Great. That's a lot. And I guess now we can rest in the inn for free. I guess I should have done, th done this before I rested at the end of the last episode and I lost five gold pieces as a result. Good. Now I'm looking for a room. Can you help me? So rest zero gold pieces. All right. Very good. 
Looks like we solved that quest. We showed Alwyn's, we showed Al Aldwin Eden's signet ring that we found upstairs and he confessed to having forged the claim to the evening shade. With enough pressure, he eventually agreed that he would go confess his crime to the elders of Kuldahar and face whatever punishment they see fit to give him. If any at all. Now, if I remember, there's a tower that we haven't visited yet. How's in the local wizard? So we'll go check that out before we advance. I do believe it's over here. Hey, why do we have to go all the way around? Oh well, say la vide. Maybe we should have gone here first when we first came into town. I didn't know. I didn't know. But now I do. Alright, here we are. Where are we? Okay, so here's a door up here. Which goes into another area. Maybe we can buy spells from this guy. Alright, here we are. There's a magician's workbench that I'm sure we're free to use. It doesn't look like there's any doors here. Looks like there might be something over here, but... As of right now, there's no way to get over here. So we might as well just talk to this guy. This is Orc the Grey. Well now, what have we here? It's been a long time since I've had guests. Welcome, my name is Auric. What brings you to my humble home? I would like to ask you some questions about disturbances in the past. Ah, oh, yes, the disturbances. I'm afraid I can't be of much help to you there. I rarely leave this tower for any reason, you see. My studies prevent me from taking an active interest in the affairs of the people of Kolahar. Their problems are no concern of mine. about the balance? Surely you must see that what happens to the people of Kuldahar will affect you as well. Let's see, you've been talking to that old codger Arundel, the fool. I care not for his precious balance or for seeking out his mysterious evil. All that matters to me is my work. What is so important about your work? Everything. Knowledge is the one true source of power in this universe. Everything else is fleeting. I've spent years collecting these tomes and scrolls you see before you. They are my life's work. Contained within their passages are the clues that may one day unlock the mysteries of an ancient, nearly forgotten arcane lore. I'd say you would be most interested in that. What sort of arcane lore? My studies revolve around the arcane lore that deals specifically with the creation of myth mythals. A mythal is a powerful elven enchantment that is essentially a weave of protective magic that can be cast over a vast area. I've discovered numerous historical accounts of elven mages laying such mythals over an entire city. Interesting. Tell me more. The details of the accounts are vague at best. The mages of the old elven kingdoms vanished long ago, retreating to the safety and isolation of the Isle of Evermeet. Seems that all their written knowledge of mythal enchantment has vanished with them. For over a decade, I have traveled the realms searching for remnants of this forgotten lore. That is what brought me to Kuldahar. You think the answers you seek are here in Kuldahar? Not exactly. While exploring the fabled ruins of Myth Draenor, I came ac across an old, tattered manuscript buried amid the rubble of an abandoned library. The 
manuscript made several references to an elven outpost located somewhere within the spine of the world mountains. Naturally, I came here to find the settlement. Thus far, I've been unable to locate it. Well, if I come across any elven ruins, I'll be sure to let you know. Alright, so now we have another quest. I appreciate your interest. If, by some miracle, you find this lost elven outpost and happen upon any materials regarding mythals, please deliver them to me here. I'm willing to pay a handsome reward for such a service. I'll remember that. Before I go, I would like to purchase some spells, and we'll have you say it, because you get the best price on everything. I see. Well, you've come to the right place. I can certainly provide you with a number of useful spells for your spellbook. Of course... I'm only willing to offer you certain spells. I fear much of the knowledge I possess is beyond your comprehension. Perhaps in the future you may be worthy of such advanced knowledge. Very well. What do you have to offer me at the moment? So we get low magic. Alright, so let's go... Oh, what do we have here? Robe of infusing. Enfusing, not infusing. Plus two gives you an extra level one spell slot. Damage immunity to magic, five percent immunity, and it gives you plus five to lore. What is this? The girdle of good. I don't think anybody would be able to. Oh, oh, the girdle of gone. Excuse me. That means that means Frito can wear it. it gives you. Plus 5 to disable, plus 10 to open lock, and plus 5 to search. Well, if we can afford it, I definitely would buy it. No weapons. Ah, here we go. The spells. Alright, so let's take a look at our spells. Cat's Grace is a level 2 spell, so I believe we'll purchase that. And we'll scribe it. is also, oh, this is a level 1 spell. I don't think we have it. We don't. Into the spell book it goes. What about this one? This is a level 2 spell. I'm certain we don't have it. Cloud of Bewilderment. Color Spray is a level 1 spell. I don't think we have this one either. We do not. Very good. Jedly's Loop. We don't have that one either. We have magic missile. We do. Okay. We have identify as well, so we don't need those. Melf's acid arrow. That's a good spell. We don't have it. We're gonna take it. We don't eat up all of our gold doing this. Mirror image is another good one, and we don't have it, so we will take it. Yeah, we'll take this one as well. Shield, we have shield already. We needed it. We also have sleep. We don't have summon creature one, so we'll take it. And we do have web. So these spells we already have. Plus we could scribe some scrolls if we really wanted to. In fact, I might do that because I believe we have that feat. Is that right? Isn't that automatic? Get scribe scroll. Yeah, number three. That way, before we rest, we can use up some of our spells to make some scrolls for later. Scorching ray would be good. So would be web. I don't know about these ones. Maybe mage armor. All right, let's buy a couple of these, and then we'll scribe some of them. And then we'll go back to the end, we'll rest, and then we'll put some better spells in. What about this? Oh, what is this? Class of Bronze Cloak. This is a talisman? This small talisman was... Oh, okay, so this is an amulet. This is not a cloak. Gives you damage immunity 5% to piercing and 5% to slashing. Pretty expensive for that. Scarab of Goodwill. 
Only usable by a cleric. Well, we have two clerics, or at least we got one. I don't know if the favorite soul qualifies. Does charm person once per day? I don't know about that. That's kind of expensive just for that. And we have a scroll case. What is this thing? That's a cap bone case designed to hold a large number of scrolls. Yes. Yes, I will take it. I hope it actually works this time, unlike that gem bag that we bought. Alright, so we made you a little bit richer today, buddy. Let's bring up the spell book and the inventory. Let's scribe a scroll. What's it gonna be? How does this even work? Okay, that's how we do it. We get Scorching Ray many. Let's do Scorching Ray single. Alright, we'll right, so now we have two of them. Let's make let's do it with web. Are we using up money, by the way? I didn't I didn't look. Do we use up money when we do this? Yes, we do. We, we use up actually quite a bit of money doing this. Alright, I'll, I'll do one more with the mage armor and then that'll be it. Yeah, we don't use as much money with the level 1 spells. Let's open this up. Let's throw this. Okay, I'm getting kind of frustrated here. Can I place items of that type into this container? But it's a scroll case. I'm putting scrolls in it. What's up with that? What's the point of buying this if I can't put stuff in it? Is it something that's broken? Please, I need help. Somebody tell me. Alright, so let's get rid of one of our scorching rays. And we'll put something better in there. Since we bought all these spells, we might as well use one. Probably mirror image. That's a good defensive spell. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, there'd be another buff. Alright, so that's it for now. Alright. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to the inn. Well, first, let's zoom out and see if we can find any scrolls just lying about. You never know. It doesn't look like it. Okay, I'm going to go back to the inn. I'm probably going to do this off camera. And then off camera, I think I'm going to head back to the Coldahart Pass and go to Garrig the Ogre. And I'm going to give him the information. Oh, wait a minute. Here's somebody we haven't even talked to yet. Let's talk to him first. Hey, phew, no stick up on Weenog like that. Who are you? Me, we knock. Who you? I am Evelyn. I seek the mage called Oric. I was told this was his tower. Yes, this is the home of the master. We knock serves the master, cleans tower, makes beds, cooks tasty food for the master. How nice. A goblin housekeeper. Forgive me if I don't hand you my cloak. Now, where is this bastard of yours? The master is in study through door. Go in if you want to speak with the master. We nog not allowed in study. Master keeps powerful magics in there. Books, papers, and wizard things that we nog not understand. Thanks, we nog. Farewell. Okay. So that was one thing that we missed coming in here, but we didn't miss coming out. All right. So I guess I will meet you back at the pass. Okay, I'm back here in the inn, and I just cut in here because it looks like this guy has changed some of his dialogue a little bit. So I'm just going to read it. So when we came back, he said, oh, it's you again. What do you want this time? And Sanjay said, I'm looking for a room. Any, are any free? So this time, Alwyn says, yeah, of course we got space for such fine, upstanding travelers such as yourself. By the way, I talked it over with the other folks in town like you asked, and they're willing to let the whole Eden thing slide. 
As long as I take a percentage out of my profits to help the town. Damn warm-blooded vampires. I thought there were no profits in this inn. I thought the profit margin was extremely small. And what, now you have to give it all to the town? That sucks. Good, I like to rest then, so we're gonna rest. All right, now we have our new spells. You just follow me. You're gonna have to do leaps and, and stay bounds, close. Right? Everyone, follow me. All right, so now we have the proper spells. Well, all we did was change one out, really. All right, I'll meet you back at the Coldahar Pass for real this time. Here we are in the tower in the Coldahar Pass. So we're gonna talk to Gary the Ogre, and we're gonna tell him the treatment that we learned of from. Arundel, I believe. Ow! You here again? Head still hurt. Let's back up a little bit. Garrick, gather the red and purple frostberries that grow near hot springs. Mash them into a paste and eat them with boiled tundra grasses. That will make your head stop hurting. The remedy actually only works for ogres. That fix head? I give thanks. I go make head better now. And we got 225 XP for that. Good luck, Garrick. So off he goes. Maybe to better himself, who knows. Is that a completed quest? We told Garrick the Ogre in Kolohar Pass a recipe that would make his headache go away. He was very grateful and Properly what? It doesn't say. Properly left, so I'm going to say. Alright. So now we have all these other quests here. I wonder if we'll ever be able to complete this one. Who knows? If we're ever going to be allowed to go back to East Haven. I wonder if that'll work on the crazy goblin marshal. It's worth a shot, I guess. He might just say, go away. Leave me alone. Alone! Arr, the pain. Okay, well, you just keep your pain. We tried to help you, but you don't want it. Off we go. Now, I believe it can go straight to the Veil of Shadows from here. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Might have to put on buffs as soon as we're in the area. Kind of getting up on time, approaching 28 and a half minutes. Ha! Look at this. To Kolohar. We have a tomb, a cave, another tomb, 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 and a crypt. Oh goody, we have so many areas to visit. You just follow me and stay close. Ah, crap. All right, try it again. There we go. Now, I wonder if this build actually gives us battle caster check it out. I got it right here. Let's see. So we're going to be taking blind fight at level 6. At level 9 we're taking great fortitude. That must be for the Stormlord level, I'm guessing. Extend spell, monkey grip. Monkey grip? Why, so we can use it with one hand? Or so we can dual wield spears? Quicken spell, persistent spell, still spell. Automatic, still spell, quicken spell. And more quicken spell, zero to two. Hmm. Auto quicken Eldritch Blast, that's probably what that's all for. If that's the case, we're going to have to get some better armor. 
that doesn't have such a high spell casting arcane failure rate. All right, this is what I'm going to do. Very well. I don't know if we can rest here, but I'm going to assume that we can. Your dig to X. We're going to put shield of faith, protected from evil. And yeah, I guess we'll put bless on. Why not? Hmm. Yes. We'll have you put shield of faith on the other three characters. Yes. And you put on Mage Genpei Ye Koroi. Oh, I should have had shield on, huh? Oh well. Well, shield of faith ought to work. Oh, that's a deflection bonus. They're two separate bonuses. Well, maybe when I get another spell slot, I'll put it in there. And it will go mirror image. That's it. All right. Your dick to X. Take too long. What? Your dick to X. Your dick to X. I still think it's kind of disappointing that we couldn't sell Glory any gems Conforus. to the blacksmith. Your dick to X. Very well. I. S you know what? I didn't see if we could sell them to the general store guy. What's his name? Girth. So where are we going to go first? Are we going to go into this tomb or this tomb? This one actually is further away because we're going to have to go down here and back up. This is a straight shot to this one. Ah, we got yetis. It's a good thing we put the, uh, the buffs on. What about up here? seen anything. I wonder if we could shoot this guy through the rocks. Uh, apparently we can. Well, that's good. How about we put a crossbow on. We'll have you put the bow and arrow. What are you doing? Come back and shoot him. <laughs> All right. Are these things? They either have a high AC or they're strong against piercing weapons, I guess. Uh oh, here they come. Well, of course I can do that. All right. Go back to your spear. You go back to your fists. You go back to your dual weapons. <laughs> and More lambs to the slaughter. You are going to, I guess, do multiple scorching rays. What are you doing? Oh, okay. Look what we have here. Ah. Future corpses. You're chasing me, huh? Maybe we have something for you. Do you have to fetch some casting on? No, but you will. Let's put web on. Yen pay yen. All right. Ah, we're entangled. <laughs> What happened to your uh, rapier that I'm trying to equip? There it is. Oh, you're doing right, extremely cool. badly. Let's take them down. All right, how about you do that? What about your stick attacks? This is most fortunate. How about you stunning fist somebody? We got two uses. Might as well. Quietly. Our quarry is just ahead. Attack! Last. You should be doing concentration as well. Alright, you're gonna need to. More cure light wounds. Quietly. Our quarry lies just ahead. <laughs> <laughs> More lambs to the slaughter. This guy's almost dead. <laughs> Are you attacking? Sorry. 
Why aren't you killing this guy? Alright, go back to your bow and arrow. You are gonna have to do some more healing. This is You're not hitting anybody. You're oh, oh I'm wrong. I'm wrong about that. You killed somebody. Now strike swiftly. You're not hitting anybody. Oh, he's dazed now. Come on, hit him. If I must. Why aren't you hitting him? Alright, Sanjay, you got him. Fall in behind me here. Alright, so somebody told me that these things are worth a lot of money, so we're gonna take them. All these Yeti pelts. All right, here we go. Hmm. Let's tell the cat to follow. Everyone, follow me. All right, so we are kind of running up on time. We'll probably end the episode before we go in what? one of these tombs. I'm just curious as to whether we can actually rest out here. Do you have any more Yetis up here? Ah, uh, we got shadows. I see. How about we retreat and try to rest? What are you? Are you crazy? What are you doing? <laughs> More lambs to the slaughter. I can't believe you actually hit. All right, crew. Let's take them down. All right. I think you should do some eldritch blasting. How about that? Probably go to long range weapons. Their you time the has thing. come. Destroy I think them. I spy some unsuspecting now, playmates. Strike ahead. swiftly. Right, shoot him. Your <laughs> we kill it? Hell yeah, 75 XP. Uh oh. Their time has come. On come. Up. Playmates ahead. All right, try to. I guess I'll just blast another one, huh? Oh, you idiot! Their time has come. Right. Well, of Turn course I can do that. them all. Now, go back to regular swiftly. <laughs> More lambs to the slaughter. In fact, why don't we turn the fire up? What about you? Did that even work? I don't think so. But we could try it again. Hellhound! Damn your eyes! How about you? I think I spy blast. some unsuspecting playmates ahead. Let's try that. They may be playing. Who got a critical? I don't know. All right, so we succeeded against the shadows. Fall in behind me here. Says it's safe. Oh man. It said it was safe, and I didn't even get a chance to press OK. It says your rest has been er interrupted. You have been waylaid by enemies and must defend yourself. Great. Well, let's. I guess we'll try to take care of these guys. Quietly. Our quarry lies just ahead. Ah. All right, Ouch. crew. Let's take them down. You must be doing really bad if you can't move anywhere. How about you? What are you doing? Major. Their time has come. Yeah, 
Yeah, Mage Armor would do pretty well on him, wouldn't it? Why aren't you healing yourself? Are you paralyzed? <laughs> More yeah. lambs to the slaughter. How about you do something? This is most fortunate. Son. All right, try again. Cool, we killed another one. My son. <laughs> Lies just ahead. All right, Frito got the kill this time. We got 75 XP. What? Let's collect these Yeti pelts. All right, so I want to rest before we go into this tomb up here. However, I don't want to take a chance of another random encounter, so I might have to head back to the inn. So, I guess I'll meet you back here in the next episode, and then we will go into one of the tombs. We'll be able to find the secret to the bad happenings in town. Find out next time. This is Big Loaf signing off. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time in Tengu Medea.